What's up guys, Bloodshed here. Today we're gonna to talk about what's the best start in Diablo 3 season 23. Now this is patch 2.7.0. We're also gonna talk about like what's good for the leaderboards and what are the conquests. This will just be like an overview of all things season, I guess. As of right now, we don't know when the season starts. So I know that's gonna be one of the most popular questions. My best guess right now is the last Friday of March or the first Friday of April. I think we're gonna have a little bit of downtime in the off season, maybe a week or 10 days or so. Before we get started, if I could get a quick like on the video, I would appreciate it as they do help a lot. I'm gonna talk about every class here in the video. And in case you don't know, I'm gonna do a dedicated starter video for each class this season. This, yes, the starter videos are coming back in addition to the Let's Plays. All right, so Demon Hunter. This is the UE set we get for Hadrig. It's an incredibly powerful set. A lot of people don't know the hidden potential Right? The six piece bonus buffs multi-shot, but it also, the first line right there says your generators. Now, we just recently went through a patch that buffed a lot of the generators. So you can use the UE set with the ninth satchel, right, to buff Hungering Arrow. You can use it with the new Bola quiver that got buffed, the Duffel, so it gives you 175% chance for Bolas. There was even bows that got buffed, Odyssey's End, Bow of the Hashir, and of course, you can use it with the good old Yang's recurve bow. That's the that's the money maker right here if you land the Yang's for that 200% multiplier. And again, we're gonna have dedicated videos on every class, the leveling process, the starter, the two, four, six piece starters, the whole nine, you're gonna go into detail on everything. I made a quick graphic for all the classes, but just know every class has an easy time leveling. Every class has an easy GR70 clear. You know, and that's what the, the dedicated videos are going to give you a pathway to do that. Every class can easily do 100, 120, you know, and with the right build. And we have a website full of builds. You can check them out, bloodshed.com. So don't freak out when you see the graphic, okay? This is just to kind of put it in perspective and to kind of highlight each starter set this season. So for DH, we have leveling in the A tier. It's really good. You get twin chakrams really early on and from there you're just coasting, flinging your chakrams everywhere. Your pathway to Torment 70 is really easy. As we talked about, you can pair so many different generators and depth diggers with the UE set. In addition to multi-shot alone, you just crush GR70. Uh, GR70 is important because it's almost at that T16 level and you want, that's where you're farming to get whatever build you want. In addition, that's when you unlock primal. So a lot of people have that as their goal on launch night is to get primals unlocked. So DH would absolutely crush it. And for the GR100 clear, we have DH in the A tier as it's not too bad, but it does require a few extra items that maybe the other tiers don't have. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this graphic up periodically when I cover each individual class. People have God set questions. Yes, the God set did get nerfed, but I believe that Blizzard is gonna find a nice balance of the set before it goes live. Um, as of right now, I would consider it in the A tier still, so it's pretty solid overall, but I think it definitely needs a little bit more juice. For Barbarian, you guys get the Wrath of the Waste set. Man, don't underestimate that two-piece bonus rend. With the two piece, will just pretty much destroys everything early game. All you have to do is rend mobs and they get completely destroyed with that 500% multiplier. That makes your GR20 clear easy, your T7, your introduction to T7 easy. You can get Band of Might at level one from uh, the vendor, like if you reroll blood shards early, right? You can make a level one barb roll rings and there's only two possible rings. You can see the options at level 70, but if you make a level one barbarian, there's only two options, so you have a very high chance to get Band of Might, which will cover, pretty much cover your survivability to GR100. Leveling process is not hard at all. If you're playing hardcore, you get your cheat death really early. It's just good speed farmer. It's pretty much good all around, so. We have the leveling in the A tier, as all you pretty much do is spam rend. You also get access to bracers early, so you can get, you can do like Hoda or Seismic Slam. The leveling process is chill for everybody. For your Torment 70 clear, again, the way set hits so hard. And especially if you get that Lamentation Belt, um, easy 70 clear. For Wizards, you get Tel Rasha. Now, right now, Tel Rasha is crushing it with the Firebird combo, but even without it, Tel Rasha is amazing because it's like having an 8,000% multiplier, and you pair that with 
literally anything that you get along the way. So every single multiplier in the game works with this set. It's kind of like it's like kind of kind of like having a lawn set in a way. You just have to use four different elements. So it pairs with Hydra, it pairs with you know explosive blast, meteor, anything that you get along the way works with Rasha for that leveling process. Wizard does do well. They get a nice damage passive early, like at level 10, and you get Disintegrate not too far after that, like in the low 20s. The Convergence Rune is just obliterate everything. And again, we're going to have guides on everything, right? They also finally got a low level way to spend their blood shards. You want to roll offhand sources with Wizard, and you get Winter's Flurry. Now, it's not as good as other classes, early game items, but you still get a multiplier. Your Hydra's deal damage to enemies that are in a blizzard, getting damaged by blizzards. So at least you have something there to go for, and it does work out really well at max level. So I would probably just go for it, and then you can probably go for like Ash Nagars after that for that surf ability, or you can even go for Pox Falds. Wizard leveling is pretty chill. I'll put it in that solid A tier with everybody else. And for your GR70 clear, um, the set necessarily doesn't do anything. It just gives you like that damage bonus, but I'm just banking that you'll get something to pair with it. So I put it in that S tier 70 clear. And I also have it in that GR100 clear because it is so easy to build. And there's so many different builds you can make. Coming up next, we have Witch Doctor. Now, Witch Doctor is arguably the best massacre bonus, solo massacre bonus character in the game. Haunt just just goes off and just bleeds and kills and dots everything. Your pets are hitting, killing everything. It's so easy to keep up massacres and get these one, two, three hundred chains. It's actually incredible, all right? And then, so you finally hit 70, and now you have your two-piece bonus, which the two-piece Helltooth does 3,000% damage. So all your pets are, are your gargs and your zombie dogs are dotting and putting on this 3000 necrosis buff. You're just walking through early. The early game just gets destroyed, right? So leveling, your GR 20 clear. Once you get your six piece, you should dominate up until that Torment 70 level, right? And then you just use that to farm Mundanugu or whatever you want to build into. Dagger of Darts is also really good. However you want to build from there, it'll definitely get you going and it has S tier start basically. Even without you know the crazy Helltooth start and Haunt, uh, Witch Doctor at level one gets a amazing gazing demise offhand. So it has a nice multiplier on it and it's really great. And again, we'll cover all this in the starter video for you, but just so to give you an idea about the power of the level one start. There's only one mojo available at level one, right? If you guys don't know about all these blood shards that I'm talking about, you gotta save your challenge rift cash until the season starts. Once the season starts, you do your challenge rift, then you take those blood shards and you roll them on your fresh season 23 character. So here's the chart. We got Witch Doctor in the leveling S tier as it's godly. We have it in the A tier 70. It's easy, it's just these builds up here are noticeably stronger. And then we have it in the B tier for the first GR100. Most people are not gonna main Helltooth, they're gonna be playing other things. So Helltooth will get you into what you need to get into, right? It'll get you, you'll be, it's the Honda that is reliable and it'll get you into that Lambo that you need. Uh, for Monk, you got the Remnant set. Now, uh, before you puke all over the keyboard, we did this testing today, right? I developed a full proof build for max level. And it's not that bad, actually. You know, not that bad might not sound appetizing, but it's it's actually kind of fun if you have the right build. So your generators get a increase to attack speed and damage, and you basically have infinite dashes as long as you have the spirit to support it. So immediately you can pour it around, resource, you know, of course if you have the resource, and you're just killing things. So it's kind of like a decent speed build for that early game, that T7 to T11 speed build. Um, the leveling process for Monk, it kind of depends on what drops you get, but it's still fine. And the early game is way better than I thought. And keep it in mind that to get the two-piece Hadrig, you don't even have to be on Torment difficulty. You can do it like on, I think, Hard or Master to get the initial two pieces of your set. And then this will just definitely propel you into that GR20 clear. You should have no problem doing it. And again, the videos will showcase all of that once we get them 
all produced. You might have missed it, but I believe it was last season or the one before that, they put a multiplier on Gundo Gear. So now Gundo Gear has 100% multiplier to EP. So I definitely would roll bracers at level one to try to get that. Each one of these has a multiplier. So if you really want to level with a multiplier to have that extra damage kick, all three of them are good. You just have to land one of them, right, with your blood shards. So for leveling, we got Monk in the A tier. For T70, we got Monk in the A tier because of Rainment, right? And then for the GR100, we got Monk in the B tier. Up next, we have the Crusader rolling. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. So a lot of people sleep on this build, but check out that four piece. They buffed it not too long ago, a couple patches ago as well. 17,500 damage, enough said. Absolutely one shot everything in your path. In addition, they also buffed the Norvald's Fervor set, if you happen to get that before you get your other multipliers, you were just literally one tapping everything. Have you seen the six piece? Let me show you the six piece once you get it. Shield bash or sweep attack hits with 75% increased attack speed. That's an echoing fury with 17,000 built into the kit with 17,000 damage. I mean, you're just whopping everything pretty much to a GR100. Did I mention at level one, you can roll shields and you can get a little shield called the Denial Shield, which synergizes perfectly with your Hadrig. If you're unlucky and get the Guard of Johanna, well, Blessed Hammer is one of the best leveling skills in the game. It's an incredibly low cost spender. It's like 10 resource for like 600 plus damage. And that's pretty much what you're gonna use anyway for leveling. So either shield would be incredible to get along the way. I really big fan of Roland and it's, it's one of my favorite builds. So, and the set dungeon mastery is really easy as well. Just a little extra. And finally we have the Rat Necromancer. Rothma got completely redesigned. When you're watching the video, this actually might be different as we don't know how they're gonna change the PTR. We're still on the PTR right now. So this is really the only one that's in danger of changing. Rothma got a redesign and it just so happens to be the Hadrick this season. For leveling, Necromancer gets Corpse Explosion. It blows up everything. And then the big boom hits other things, creates more corpses, and then you have this domino effect of you create more corpses and you do more damage. It's one of the fastest leveling, if not the fastest um, leveling in Rifts. I would say maybe Necromancer is the fastest Rift level, leveler, and then Witch Doctor would be the fastest Solo Massacre leveler, right? It's just incredible. Or, or in groups, you'd probably use a Necro, right? If, if you're going for like rank one or something like that. Did I say Bracer? I meant gloves. They get Corpse Explosion gloves at level one. So you get 200% increased damage, stacks up to five times. So they increase the base damage of Corpse Explosion to a, over a thousand, and they gave you these gloves at level one. So you just be going to, I mean, forget it. You can even use this at level 70. You can start off with like a lawn build and you go like lawn corpse explosion from the beginning and you'll be okay. But there's no way Rothma won't be good. I'll have dedicated build videos for it uh, on the website, bloodshed.com, on the YouTube channel here. And even if the set somehow is not useful, you can go lawn corpse explosion and still clear a GR 100. That's how strong the gloves are. So if you said, hey, Blood, you know, what's the best start for season 23? I would definitely, from the bottom of my little blood heart, say play whatever you want. Everything is good in their own way. And if not, that thing will get you into the thing you want to play really fast. If this was a leveling competition, then Necro Witch Doctor would win. If this was a first class to GR70 competition, I'd probably put my money on Barb because the two piece waste is really crazy and Barb doesn't need that many weapons for Whirlwind. They just need that Lamentation belt. So you can spam belts that only cost 25 and you could probably get that 70 with just that. If this was a GR100 competition, maybe Necro would win just because they get their two guaranteed multipliers early and they can push really high. But on hardcore, they, they might get clapped. So on hardcore, I'd take Barb or Wizard, kind of depending on the situation. Or we're just splitting hairs here, you know, they're all really awesome in their own way. Not only are they all awesome, if you haven't heard the news, you know, people ask me, Blood, what to play, what to play, what to play. Here's the Crusader leaderboard. They added leaderboards for each and every single set, including a LOD set for each class. So normally you have your Crusader leaderboard, right? and you're competing with everybody. Now there's six times the leaderboard space, so to speak, 
as there's um, one for each class. So technically, a con is meta for the Akan leaderboard, invokers meta for the invoker leaderboard, and so forth. There's really not a reason anymore to not just play whatever class you want and comp compete in any of the leaderboards that you want, right? I was a little apprehensive with this system at first because it doesn't pop up on screen. Only the overall rank popped up on screen. But I think it's just a bug. And if Blizzard's watching, let us know or patch it or fix it. Because like, let's say I have a level 100 GR with a con and then I do a level 99 with thorns, it doesn't pop up because a con's higher than thorns, right? But what happened was when I would get other clears with sets, even if I did a level one GR, level 50 GR, it pops up on my friends list and other people's screens. So I think it may be just a bug. They don't know how to pop up two types of separate achievement pop-ups at the same time. Um, I would like to get that gratification. Like if I work hard for top 10 or whatever, I wanna see it on my screen, but at least I know it does pop up on other people's screens. So it, it does feel like it's in the world and it's an actual leaderboard, you know? Either way, you'll be able to filter out whatever set you're playing and compete in that arena. Also, this might bring a tear to your eye. I was looking at the non-set leaderboard and I saw Dropadooski here and he was using a Lod Thorns build, man. So remember that old Lod Thorns build? This is kind of like the basis of Frenzy Barb itself. I thought that was pretty cool, man. Shout out to Dooski. And that's what I mean. These kind of leaderboards will bring out, hopefully bring out builds like this that you don't see often. So let your freak flag fly, chat, all right? All right, so let's cover the conquest. You will be very, very happy to know this is an easy as hell conquest season. We got Avarice or Avrita for hardcore. Just get that gold streak going. All you need is a level 50 boon of the hoarder and play the game and it'll eventually happen. Or you can go to a cow level or you can do massacre chains in the ruins of Corvus. This is pretty much one of the easiest conquests you can get. Then we got Speed Demon, complete a rift on T10 within two minutes, which is really, really easy to do with the power creep and all the movement speed added to the game, right? For hardcore, it's called Need for Speed. And then we have Divinity, Reach GR75 Solo, and on hardcore, it's called Lionhearted Reach GR75 Solo Hardcore. Super easy conquest if you want to step it up. There is also Boss Mode is back, Worlds Apart, and then Master 8 set dungeons for the truly freaks out there you <laughs> really big weirdos you can do these ones if you like the new pet and the new portrait frame are not in the game yet um i don't know at what point they're going to reveal them to us but i guess they're coming soon and that's it this ended up being a really long video i don't know how but let me know in the comments below what you're gonna main season 23, what you're thinking. I personally haven't chosen a main yet. I'm waiting for the final Firebird changes to go through. I might do something really stupid and put every single set build, lawn build on the leaderboard. That is what, six per class times seven classes. I might, I might do that. Um, I'm feeling crazy right now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Anyway, again, if you could like the video, that would be awesome. And I do have a website with all the builds on it. You can check bloodshed.com. And that's it. That's all for me today, guys. Have a good one and peace.